a glory to the king of kings the creator of heaven and earth the most gracious and merciful lord lord who keeps mercy to those who love him even for a thousand years and uh, by no means he does visit iniquity of fathers upon children up to third and fourth generation of those who are happy. Thank you, Lord, for this day, for guidance, for love, for graciousness, and, oh, Lord God, many hard plans to see a day like this, but they didn't see it. I've seen it. No, that's unrighteous, but because of thy glory. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, the Holy God of Israel. And as I shall talk of the scripture, let even thy holy name be glorified all over the world. And not me, O Jehovah, but thy holiness, even for even and evil. Because you are Lord of Lords, you are King of Kings. And beside thee, there can never even be God, then the thank you, Jehovah. Thank you for this day. Oh, my God. And, uh, and today, I'll talk of scripture, but uh, in connection uh, with the uh, uh, two Kenyan uh, pa pastor or uh, men, women of God. And uh, here I'm not judging anyone, but their actions are controversial. And this, when we compare biblically, there may be out, or we say, they are preaching <laughs> a God or a Christ of their own knowing. And uh, in recent days, we see it might be untrue, but uh, a video was posted by people from Nigeria, crazy, calling themselves crazy Nigerians, exposing one, a reverend in Kenya, Lucy Natasha. She's a flamboyant, rich, successful, in gospel terms of today. But uh, as days have moved now, we can say Lucy Natasha. She is those uh, we call, even in, they have been enriched by gospel of prosperity. One of accusations where people were angered is uh, when her and um, her husband, even Prophet Kamel, they were urging or telling to those uh, willing to plant or to sacrifice upon the altar. Uh, I think the seed is, co is costing 12,616. Fixing such amount of money. And uh, if you invest, they say you shall be blessed or maybe more than this. But, oh, my God, the blessings within the scripture, not this way. How? Blessings and multiplication of blessings is by the will of God. Not, not the hours it will take you to pray or to praise or to sing or to give what. And also... As we saw in the book of Prophet Daniel, where Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Abednego they, they decided, our Lord is able to save us from this fire. And this, our Lord, Holy One of Israel, the God of our fathers, even if he won't save us today from the furnace of fire, there's no problem. 
And uh, scripturally, when we see people of us who read the scripture, whether you give or you don't give, the Lord will bless you. The Lord says, He brings rain to sinners and righteous alike. And when you stand, you tell us, we, we must pay a thousand to get blessings. We must pay maybe $10,000 or, uh, or in Kenyan currencies. And that is a using trick, a kind of fraud, even to confuse and take the little from servants of God, even uh, unknowing Christians. Because when a person stands and uh, he or she says, I'm anointed, people just follow. They don't mind, uh, as you say, you get, uh, you got Holy Spirit in you. And not that alone. The same Reverend Natasha, she went on, even before I can say, 11 months ago, and uh, said that. Yeah. <laughs> what can we say? It is out, this is what we're saying. When she was asked, how can you print a tattoo upon thy body and you are a Christian? Uh, she get, and writing through her Twitter handle, she had uh, said, even Vera, Vera Sidika, one of the Kenyan socialite sisters, she has also her own. Now see, you see, a, a, a reverend, or we say a holy woman of God, a servant of Christ, um, try to compare herself to, 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 to people. You see, you see, because we know Vera, they are not shy to say they'll sleep with, with a man giving a million. So there's no way, I don't understand which balance can we use uh, to get it is out. And then the time has come. We are saying, God has not taught, God has not told me that I won't say I'm prophesying. But as the scripture stands, the Lord in the book of prophet Isaiah, 40 verse 8, the grass fedeth. No, no, the grass withereth, the flower fedeth, but the words of our God shall stand forever. Meaning, Reverend Natasha, you can lie, you can do all kind of tricks, and there are also people like say, Pastor Nganga, they can beat people, even in church. They can abuse, they can talk all kind of uh, vulgarities even upon the altar, and uh, they don't care because they say maybe in the evening they, go, they will drill down and be forgiven. You're lying to yourself. This is not scriptural. And maybe when uh, they began ministry, only Christ or Holy Ghost was upon them. But he left them a long time ago. They're just a skeleton. And in recent time, after Lucy Natasha, <laughs> you see, she was, she was exposed, you see. And it's using the same man, you see, what, to come with those fake miracles, where these miracles, when they are shown on TV, on the screen, now you find now, now, now multi multitude of people, new, 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 you know, who are maybe converts, or, or maybe other Christians within other denominations, they will run now to, to you and the area and give you, give you, give you money. That's why now, not only in Kenya, all of Africa and the parts of this world, they, they also present the jakes. And now we're taking them to the book of St. Matthew, chapter 26, chapter 16, verse 26. The, the Lord is saying, what will gain you? Which profit will you get? You'll gain all the world. Your account can be even a zillion dollars or shillings, but uh, you'll go to hell. Oh, my God. Lucy Natasha. I repent. And uh, if you won't, may I believe within the scriptures, uh, Christ 
is holy and he will never he associates with with falsehoods and the lord shall shame you even the book of prophet jeremiah chapter 23 verse 40 i tell you there's no way you being a man of god or um, or a woman of God, you come up with your own things and you shame the name of Christ, the name of the Holy One of Israel, the, the Holy of Zion, or the One of Zion. It cannot be. If you want to repent in truth and in spirit, the Lord will plague you. It'll be, he will give you a perpetual reproach and shame everlasting for evil. Because uh, we see a servant of, of, of God, let's say King David, in the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 12, verse 14. Prophet Nathan is telling even a righteous uh, King David, because you have shamed the name of the Lord. Mm? You see, those haters of God, not the ridicule, they laugh, see them, see the way they are behaving. Because there's no way a reverend like you lose Natasha, you can cut your body, uh, apply tattoo. And we see in the book of Leviticus, the book of Law Torah, chapter 19, verse 28, you cannot print your mark upon your body or cut me for the dead, swear, but you cannot. And this is the scripture. Now, if you come today, you say you ignore such kind of things, you are a fraud, you are a liar. And if you won't repent uh, quickly, the Lord shall plague you. That's the truth. Because Christ is holy and uh, he will never ever associate himself with falsehood. Never, never, never. Never. And uh, we, we have seen in this Kenya, Pastor Nganga, beating a people saying he is a removing demons, talking all kinds of things. And uh, we know, uh, Christ, he said, even uh, you see in the, the book of Matthew chapter, chapter 11, be humble, copy me, I'm lowly of that. Uh, copy, be example of me, the way I am, no, for me. Uh, how, uh, um, these people are not humble. They aren't. Oh Lord, save the church, save thy people. My message is clear. If you want to repent, then uh, just wait and see Christians in Kenya, across Africa and far away in this world. Christ is holy and he, he will never associate with the lying women of God. The lying men of God. And that's my today's take on the scriptures. Thank you, Lord, my God, and Christ. Creator of heaven and heart, be it me for walking me, for guiding me. Those who have heard this message, bless them, guide them, give them knowledge and power. Oh Lord of Lords, who can be like an thee, this now God and thee, than the human holy one of Israel. Thank you, God. Be it me, walk me, bless thy holiness for even and evil. Thank you, my Lord, Jesus. And if you have no one to receive the Christ, no, there's no other way to eternal life. Even the book of St. John, chapter 14, verse 6. Christ is the way to eternity. And when he shall descend from the seven heaven, coming down, he will give you resurrection. Kill off this half, this day, for walking me, for blessing me, and this now God and thee. Father, let thy name be glorified by true women of God, by true men of God, because there is no other God than thee, O Lord of heavens. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I know there are Christians under persecution. Christian, Christians who are undergoing and heavy trials in their life. Oh, Lord, give them breakthrough. Oh, Jesus, give them light because you are the Savior of the world. And beside him, we've got no other God than thee. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you for this day. Thank you for thy glory. Thank you for thy power. Thank you, O oh Lord of Lords. Thank you for this day. Oh, Jehovah, kill Lord. Give me strength. Guide me, O oh Lord. 
Pee me, protect me from the evil people, the evil spirits, so long, so that I can give this world the little knowledge I have. Open my brain, open my heart, O oh Lord, and let me speak what is righteous. So, my God, you are his kingdom, power, and glory for even and evil. Amen. Thank you, my Lord.